Hello everyone, I am Man of Stage and welcome back to Utaware Rumono. I realized I forgot to say my name in the last episode, but whatever, it's fine. In the last episode, Nekone was going through some really deep psychological trauma, trying to unpack that dissonance between her growing closer to Haku as Oshtor and the fact that he is not actually Oshtor. And it just has been creating a whole lot of tension and unease in her mind, to the point where it's actually affecting her everyday business. But then things got even worse, because as she stepped outside to get some air, she was abducted by Entua, and is being used as a lure to get Oshtor to fight Vodai. Cool. Ooh, let's see how this goes. Also, I accidentally hit the next button, so this isn't exactly the line that she started on, but it's close. The line before was just, uh, so it's fine. We're fine. Or not. We'll see. At last, Nekone's eyes flutter open. She looks around. It's dark. She can't make out any details of her surroundings, except that they're in the forest. You. She can make out an indistinct shadow in front of her with its head bowed. The figure before her supports her weakened body. Also, I'm sure running into Vodai again isn't going to trigger any kind of, you know, traumatic response at all. She finally remembers. Her response is polite, but leaves no room for argument. Oh, that was just a ploy. I don't know anything about him. Her captor remains silent. Nekone realizes the truth. Yes, it was. I can't promise that Vodai will, though. Or won't. しばらくこちらにとどまっていただくこと。それだけが私の望みです。なぜ、なぜこんなことを？お一人様に去るものと戦っていただくためです。兄様に、そんな暇なんかないのです。そのものが望むのは試合ではなく。Oh boy! Ringing any bells? Alas, our opinions don't matter. リオもって悟されれば一言も返せません。考えあぐねた末、おしとる様に近しい方を門わかし、ゼが火でも戦っていただく。そのために猫根さんがお一人になる機会を伺っておりました。That is nefarious. 卑怯な振る舞いなのは重々承知しております。ですが。どうかお聞きください。その者の命はもう長くありません。死の淵からようやく回復したものの、ひどく衰え、本来なら戦などできぬからだ。So I'm reasonably certain that, you know, it'll be fine. Oshtor will be fine. ですがそれでも、オシトル様との戦いを望んでいるのです。そんなことのために、I feel like it wouldn't be a big deal except for you're totally burying the lead by not saying it's Vodai. Here we go. After a long silence, Entua speaks. Hachu Shong Hitori. Burai Shokun. 
But it can't be. Burai's dead. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Nekone's eyes widen in shock. She can barely believe her ears. ないのです。ブライは死んだのです。あの時、確かに… I wonder if this is going to be an actual fight or if it's just going to be kind of like the confrontation between Oshitor and Mikazuchi. I, I don't know, I feel like you kind of did. Intua's voice is heavy with anguish, but her words fall on deaf ears. In the fog of repressed memories, something stirs. Bombshell, he's actually already dead. Okay, I guess Haku doesn't count. What, you mean you think he... that Haku would really think of you as a liability and he wouldn't rescue you? Are you kidding me? Do you know Haku? Nor would Haku. In a sense, that is true. She's trying to protect his legacy. A faint voice can be heard in the darkness. It rings through the forest, distant but clear. See, he's here. In an instant, Nekone shoots to her feet. A sudden push startles Entua, and she falls back. Nekone bolts, oh no. Stumbling and tripping over herself, she runs forward without stopping, as if inexorably drawn into the dark. She finds a wopter tied to a tree nearby, likely into his mount. Fumbling with the ropes around the tree, Nekone loosens its leash and climbs on the steed's back. <laughs> hup, hup. Feeling the kicks at its side, the wopter jolts away in a swift dash. Trees surround them on all sides, appearing and vanishing into the night, with massive spindling branches spreading like fiends with arms outstretched. Nekone desperately clutches onto the wopter. Okay, 
It's not gonna work. Antoa desperately chases after Nekone, losing sight of her in the dark woods. It's dangerous to go alone! As she struggles to keep track of the faint figure between the trees, she realizes another presence is very close by. An overpowering presence, choking and oppressive even in the dark of the wilds. Antoa recognizes it immediately. The fighting spirit of a Mononofu. Well, crap. He spares into a, a brief glance, but immediately gazes ahead into the depths of the forest. How do you know? <laughs> ah. <laughs> the laughing is back. Urai laughs, almost in a delirium, as if his appetite for battle has driven him to madness. But Entua has regained her composure. He doesn't care. Urai strides away from Entua, his steps confident and purposeful. Entua knows that this man now faces his death in the battle with as much certainty as he faced life. It is his natural course. At that last desperate outburst, Burai halts. Can you just, you know, go along with the situation as a hypothetical? Alright. He, he is completely battle driven. That is his whole personality. Alright. A faint smile crosses his face, as if for himself alone. Oh, you actually said her name. Wow. With that, Burai leaves Entua behind. That was actually surprisingly helpful, but I guess sometimes the simple solution is the best. Entoa stands frozen there, as if there was one more thing she did not get to say. Her eyes shine with tears. Aw, I do feel bad for her. This is a bad sign. I slow down, struggling to catch my breath. I've run down this entire mountain path, shouting Nikone's name for as long as I can. I can see it's close to dawn already. This looks very similar to where we fought Vodai the first time. Well, where Oshtor did. Actually, that would make sense. Straining my eyes, I carefully make my way between the rocks. Yeah, this looks like a boss fight place. Ah, it is the same place. Okay, I was right. Yep. Eventually, I reach a clearing. In the center of what seems to be a vast cliff plateau, I can see two massive craters. This was where Oshtor and Vodai fought and perished in battle, but... Across the plateau, I can feel something. An unmistakable aura of power. Well, crap. Apparently not. As the figure speaks, the morning sun creeps over the horizon. The first rays of sunlight illuminate the man before me. This is very cinematic, I like it. Oh, it's a little blurry now, though. Oh, gosh. It's the fatigue. Burai! Oh, it's so motion blurry. I got better. <laughs> I 
Good news, you technically have. その。Yeah. With each thundering step, Vorai moves closer to his arch enemy. That perma frown, though. Ooh, is he going to transform? Yep. Okay. Vrai unleashes the power of his Akuraka. I can feel the raw power of his fury caress my skin like tiny shocks. This will be interesting. Transform! Cinematic fight. We grip each other in furious deadlock. Monstrous feet planted upon the dry ground. Cracks spreading outward in the rocks as we struggle. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I feel like he looks like Haku transformed looks slightly different, but I can't remember. I mean, it would make sense. He has a more... He has a stronger connection to the Akuraka. Punch. I managed to land a headbutt on Vorai. Oh, that's what it was. Putting some distance between us. Then, without missing a beat, I slam my fist into his stomach. But I staggers back with a couple of thundering steps. <laughs> An eerie smile spreads across Burai's face, as if he felt no pain from my last hit. Can he smile in that form? <laughs> I just imagine it looking like a shark. Hello. He charges at me with speed that doesn't seem possible with his massive body. I narrowly managed to dodge at the last second. Oh, he's got the scar on his body in this form, too. This is cool in the anime. The struggle continues, like two Goliaths dancing across thin ice. <laughs> That's one word for it. Facing the Colossus head on, I keep looking for opportunities to strike, but they never come. He's definitely strong. But something about his movements doesn't feel right. Yeah, that's because he knows he's going to die at the end of this fight, whether he wins or loses. <laughs> Ah, you 
とわに戦うほどかなわぬなら己のすべてを召し尽くすのも悪くはない His fighting spirit shakes the very land beneath us. Oh, hey, we've got support. A sharp voice rings out, and the battlefield falls still for a moment. Fighting. Yeah, like, I feel like the face looks different. I don't remember the face looking like that, but it's been a bit. Juan and the others stand at the ready. They gather around me detectively. You all made good time. I really expected her just to have the kind of dead eyes and maniacal laughter. You're one to talk. Well... <laughs> there it is. If there's somebody here who is more thirsty for battle than Vodai, it's Atui. You know what? That's fine. Your reasons are your own. Mm, I don't know about that. Kwan, I think, has a good chance. And this is why you fail. <laughs> I guess as long as they're happy, everyone readies their weapons. Alright, I guess it is a fight. The Bond. Wastes near Enakamui. We have to defeat Budai, and we lose if Oshdor gets defeated. Ooh, we've got Fog. That's a new one. So it looks like a boost to fire and water. Okay. 20% of health and damage. Negated by units with the fire element. Oh, okay, that's good to know. So it actually would work out well to deploy people with the fire element because they can get close to him without taking damage. Yes, let us fight until we are both dust. You shall be dust, but I will rise. We finish this now, Vorai. Do I actually control? Oh, I do control him, okay. Do you hesitate? Then I can't see what he said. He said something about hesitating, though. Ooh, that is an HP difference. I've got full zeal. Divine will. I have no time to play with you. Move! If I must resort to force, I will. I shall. Yes, good. Now come, Oshtor! Inferno Cage. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I guess that's not surprising. 
Ooh, did that help my ally too? That's cool. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Go back here. I'm not done with you. You don't know to fight. Why are you walking away? If we relax now, it could mean our lives. So let's go all in, right from the start. I am well aware, my sister. Her sister. Siesta, siesta. Oh, did he position himself strategically by the crater? Yeah, he did. Now, come, Oshdor. This is actually working pretty well. Pirate's favor! Sister, would you allow me? Hmm, go ahead. Alright. Hit him again. At least I gotta defend. Ah, fire. Fire hurt. Ooh. Oh, fair. He gets more action chains than I do. But I... For all your transgressions, I will punish you. Prepare yourself if I can get around this crater. <laughs> that was... You are powerless to stop me, little girl. Damn. Harsh. Healing. Oh, sure. Hang in there. I thank you. It's not going fantastically, but it could be worse. Oh. Okay, I need to move them out of there. Oh no, that's bad. Oh crap. What? <laughs> Everyone, Burai is desperate. Be careful. Well, I... You have no time to think. Okay. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Because I was going to die. Okay, I need to be more careful. If our battles must one day end, then I accept my life ending with them. I know you feel the same. Oshtor! Uh, no, not particularly, but you seem to assume so. Do not get in my way. I think you're the one in the way. Oh, she told you. Oh, I didn't realize she changed her type to water. I should have paid attention. No matter how strong he is, we must defeat him. I'm gonna pull you back here and keep you in a healing... Oh, that's good. There we go. Sir Oshtor, please allow me to treat you. I thank you. I will end this here. Let us settle this, Vorai. <laughs> Are you finally ready? Uh, hopefully. Vorai, how far you have fallen. I have no business with you. Stand down. Stay out of my way. Damn you. Well, I'm still gonna hit you. And it's gonna hurt. Oh, so close. And level up. And I heal. I love it. Anju gets the last hit. Hopefully. Unless he has the same ability. No, that doesn't sound like somebody who can save themselves once per battle. Ooh. 
A Song of Fury! Hey, and we leveled up pretty well. Ooh, that was a fight. Not the worst. Even Vodai seems to be tiring out. We're all battered and wounded, but victory seems like it's finally within our grasp. Uh, I wouldn't count on it. Summoning the last reserves of our strength, we launch one final attack from all sides. Archers on the hills! He struggles for a brief moment, trying to deal with all of us at once, and I see my chance. I'm there in seconds, ready to strike at his front. Now within range, I bring a fierce right hook into the defenseless Virai's face, but... I missed. Oh, that's... Ow. Dang. Somehow, Vodai managed the perfect wind-up. His fist slams into me, and I'm sent crashing back to the ground. I'm like half a mile back. I have no time to react. His fist slams into me again. Boy, he covered ground quick. I try to defend myself somehow, but there's enough power in every strike to break through to my very core. Varai's assault is merciless. His fists rain down, one brutal punch after another. This is no longer a battle, but a one-sided beatdown. <laughs> okay, that's not helpful. The others try to help, but Vodai's assault has turned the air turbulent and wild. They can hardly keep hold of their weapons, let alone hit him. Doesn't seem to phase Atui. I take each of his painful strikes, an unrelenting hail of punches, refusing to give in. I figured this wasn't going to be the end of it. He lifts me bodily by the neck. I can feel his fingers choking me. Even as I try to resist, I can't summon up any more strength in my body. Hey, Nekune, you made it! As Vodai roars in fury, I feel his grip tighten on my throat. His fingers close fully around my throat. Our monstrous bodies creak with the strain. At that moment, The cry pierces the air. For a moment, nothing else here matters. I saw her in the background. I figured she was going to say something. Oh, is she going to say it? Okay. 
So she came to a realization through this way. Aww. Through the haze, I see tears spilling from Nekone's eyes. And that changes everything. A chuckle escapes me, soft and gentle. Entirely unfit for a bloody battlefield like this. <laughs> Something passes through everyone watching the fight, even through Vodai himself. They can tell something in the air has changed. Vodai tries to tighten his fingers to finish his opponent off, but they will not move. His fingers, determined to choke the life out of me, cannot resist against my own hand. Moments ago, lifeless and numb. Just that fact alone floods me with power. Even through the pain, my twisted, bloodied face creases in a monstrous smile. And now finally I understand. I stand as Vodai's eternal nemesis. For as long as he lives, he will fight me, even if it destroys him to do so. There we go. Now he's channeling Oshtor for real. <laughs> I'm glad you find that funny. It's not going to help you. The fight is already beyond any mortal power. Mask against mask, raw unearthly might clashing against its equal force. The very land shakes. It's like watching two grand statues, abstract icons of infinite opposition, locked in endless battle for the amusement of gods. However, with each colossal fist swung, something begins to change. Burai trails a strange glittering light with each movement, as if he's shedding tiny, brilliant scales. Ah. His massive body is slowly deteriorating and dissolving into salt. <laughs> With an expression of rapturous joy, Burai fights. With all his power, Burai fights. And then finally. Yeah, he's done. ふふふふ。ふふふふ。ゆかい。ゆかいだったぞ。俺の生き様。俺の試合を。ぐらい。命の流れ。愛つくばる生き様に何の価値がある。命を食い潰してこその人生を。<笑> <laughs> <laughs> that is an impressive laugh. Wow. 
Well, he got what he wanted. And it was the end of him. It's fascinating that they turn into salt. I take a step toward her, dragging my massive body forward. Though still shaking with fear, Nekone wipes her tears away, looking up into the monstrous face of her towering brother. <laughs> Just hungry. Okay, that sounds like a brother. After keeping her silence for so long, Nekone finally speaks. Well, of course he wasn't going to leave you. Nekone's quavering voice fails her, and she falls silent, shaking with emotion. A colossal finger gently wipes away the flow of tears on her cheek. Oh, this is so sweet. Nekone throws her arm around the massive finger, rubbing her tearful face against its metal-like surface. So, Kaido, Mina, Mahaure ga matte iru. Ah, so this whole thing was kind of like a redemption for the previous battle where Oshitor fell. It's like. A version where everything happened the way that it should have happened the first time. Nekone nods gently. <laughs> At least for Nekone and Oshtor. <laughs> He's probably gonna pass out. Color drains from the Akuraturaka's eyes, and he slowly tilts backward. With one last broken roar, his giant body crumples to the ground, and soon shifts back to the familiar form of Oshtor. Everyone rushes to his side. I hope that's not the sash that's holding up her pants. I know this isn't the time, but that's just what crossed my mind. Wasted onto Yachtwald's back, they manage to keep him as stable as they can, bound in sashes and straps. The group quickly descends down the mountain path. And so the battlefield is empty once more. Powdery salt dances upon the wind, the remains of the warrior called Vodai. <laughs> but as if to break the silence, the nearby bushes shake. Someone limps out of the brush, holding their shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Into what staggers toward the pile of salt that was once Vodai. Steps away, she falls to her knees, as if she's on the verge of collapse. She reaches into the pile of salt and pulls something out. And then, though they have been dry for some time, 
Her eyes sting with tears once more. Finally, she realizes it. Ah, yeah. That was all she had wanted. To call someone that one last time. Well, that was sad. But we did finally defeat Vorai. Once and for all. I have the sneaking suspicion it's going to take a while for Oshtor slash Haku to recover, but if there is something good to come out of this other than Vorai being gone, it's that this should definitely calm any of those lingering feelings that hang up that Nekone had that was keeping her from really being able to move forward. And accept that while her brother is gone, he's never really gone, in a sense, because Haku will be maintaining Oshtor's legacy. And that's kind of the best that you can hope for in this situation. Oof, that was an intense episode. And I know it's a little bit short, and it'll probably be shorter after I've cut down some of the battle, but I'm afraid that's where I'm going to have to end this episode. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. For now, I am one half of the Bridge Boys, signing off.